In this short video, I'm going to show you exactly where the blind spot is, how you can improve your situational awareness, and how you will always make sure that you don't miss a car in your blind spot. It's scientifically proven beyond a doubt that blind spots can be hidden outside of frames of all of your mirrors. And even if you use your mirrors all the time, you have to check your blind spot. Now I'm going to change lanes. I've got to indicate to let other people know what I'm doing, you know, what my intentions are. And then I'm going to check the mirrors. And if I can't see any objects in my mirrors, then I'm going to check my blind spot. The reason we do it in this order, because if there was a car passing you, in the process of passing you, there'd be no point checking your blind spot because you would have to do it later on again. When you turn to check your blinds, but you're not checking someone's progress if they're passing you, if, if you knew they were already there, we specifically check for an object potentially in that spot that we were completely unaware of. And once again, that is why we don't check the blind spot if we see somebody in the mirror that's in the process of passing you. Here's a practical example. Now, I don't see anyone in my rear view mirror and I can't see anyone in my side mirror either, but there is a car in my blind spot. So if I didn't check it, I would potentially collide with that car. I'm on Tonkin Highway now and I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour. So I have to make sure that I don't miss anything that might be hidden outside of the frames of my mirrors. It's far more dangerous to change lanes without checking your blind spot if you're driving at a high speed. As you can see, I just overtook a car on my left-hand side and I've got to keep up now if I want to overtake it and go into the left lane. In this particular situation, it could be dangerous to slow down significantly. Now, that vehicle that you see in the left section of the rear window is not in my blind spot because I could see it in the mirror before I committed to changing lanes. Now, if I slow down significantly, the chances are that they're going to catch up and get too close and potentially hit me. In saying that, you've got to ensure that you've got enough space in front of you. That will accommodate consistency of your speed and ensure that you don't interfere with the traffic. A perfect example here, I'm just overtaking the vehicle and I can keep an eye on them in the mirror. Now, I, I check the blind spot and see if they are in that rear door window. If you ever see someone's bonnet in that region, in that rear door window, it means that that driver is in your blind spot, no matter how they got there. So if they sped up and got to that position, wait for the next best opportunity. Pay attention to the driver on my right hand side, which was behind me just a moment ago, but they decided to speed up and pass me. So it doesn't take too long that somebody appears in your blind spot. That's why you have to have consistent knowledge of what's happening within your immediate surroundings. Let's cover merging traffic a little bit. Now I'm going to be merging shortly. So I'm on the left hand side and the two lanes are merging into one. So you can clearly see the sign merging traffic up there. Never miss to merge properly. Always check the blind spot approximately a couple of meters before the line expires. Here I'm going to be overtaking the bus. I could have gone straight over to the left lane, but given the bus driver is a lot slower, I'm going to pass him significantly, providing that I can continuously increase my speed because I'm still at about 80 and the speed limit on this road is 100. As I mentioned before, be careful if there are cars in front of you and if their speed fluctuates, especially when you're trying to fit in before a heavy vehicle. Never entirely rely on blind spot mirrors. They call them blind spot mirrors. They are very helpful, but they certainly do not cover blind spots. One of the questions we often get asked, can you check the blind spot twice in a row? You can, but in the driving assessment, they will consider that as second guessing. After you check your blind spot, and if there is no vehicle in your blind spot, then you can check the rear view mirror to follow the progress of the traffic that was still behind you. If you're on a freeway or a highway where you don't have to merge, where there's incoming lane that has to merge with the existing traffic, we still recommend checking a blind spot just in case if someone's unaware of what they need to do. Always have a reasonable situational awareness and never ignore any road signs. If you come across a driver that's struggling to merge, despite the fact that you don't need to give way to them, it's good to be courteous and allow them to blend into the traffic, otherwise you might indirectly participate in a potential disaster. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.